I am guessing that it pains former Trump White House advisor Steve Bannon to congratulate his ideological opponents at the Democratic National Committee, but that is just what he did on Wednesday, saying the DNC did an amazing job of organizing. He was referring to the incredibly contentious, controversial, and close race in Alabama over a Senate seat. Bannon and his former boss, President Trump, backed Roy Moore, a conservative Christian candidate who has been accused by several women of pursuing sexual relations with them when they were teenagers, and a lot worse. Moore lost. Doug Jones, a Democrat, will be the first senator from that party to represent Alabama in some 25 years. So, have we hit peak populism in America or elsewhere? Joining me are Zanny Minton Beddoes, the editor in chief of The Economist. She joins us from London. And David Frum is in Washington today. He is a senior editor at The Atlantic. His new book, Trumpocracy The Corruption of the American Republic, comes out in January. David, can we make too much of the Roy Moore loss? Is this an unusual case? After all, Trump won Alabama by 28 points. Roy Moore was, as I said, a very bad candidate. And yet, He's within a you know, point of winning. Um, Roy Moore, who is 70 years old, is a backward-looking candidate. His overwhelming issues were the place of evangelical religion in society and restoring a repressive sexual morality that he may not have practiced, but that he certainly talked a lot about. But does it tell you, David, that the Trump coalition is waning in some way, or, or is it still strong and this was just a bad test case? Well, Donald Trump's own personal popularity is obviously an issue. Uh, in some exit polls, uh, Trump was showing himself at 48 percent approval rating in Alabama, one of the most conservative states in the country. He is obviously dragging down um, his own fitful performance. But the power of the issues Donald Trump discovered, uh, both in this country and in Europe, those issues do seem still to have a lot of, of power. And we saw, for example, the performance of the far-right parties in the German election. And although... Um, that populists were defeated in France, they are doing twice as well approximately as they were doing just 15, 20 years ago.